just realized that I was going to show you my whole studio and filming area and office and then I already cleared this whole table off. Whoops. Well, this had my microphone and all my brushes and everything on it. You see I have a whole bunch of clear storage totes here. Here's my lights. I have these two actually have those color changing, you know, warm, cool, color changing ones. I have two box lights. That one's on. It's my lamp. I have a TV on this wall for a monitor. So here is my shelf where I have all the things that I have planned out that I want to film that I need to get to. In case you think I'm exaggerating saying I have a lot to film. No. Okay, this shelf is all wigs, by the way. That is not things I need to film. But, yeah, oh, lots of Kaleidos. Um, I have, like, my new candles. This is all stuff I just got today. Just got that this week. Just got these late last week. These are most of a lot of, like, my favorite, favorite things up here. My Odin's Eye, my Hank and Henry's that I'm dying to try, my Ace Boutte, Pinky Rose, all my kimchi juicy nines because you know I love those. There's my Aristocats that I just said and my favorite things that I can't bear to use. See, it's displayed. I got the Violet Voss Fun Size Donut recently. Summer on Earth Alien Cosmetics. I'm going to be doing a whole line Alien Cosmetics review soon, by the way. This is my little Buddha. Um, this is collectible. This is actually from a place called Powabic Pottery in Detroit. They're a pottery studio that is very well known if you ever heard of Powabic. Yes, this is from the year 2000. The year I bought, um, the year I met my guy who had uh, turned into my husband. So yeah, this is kind of like a little good luck thing I always keep around. I have Peachy Queen Tiffany's. I have Give Me Glow Sweet and Sticky, Pinky Rose Sunflower. So, yeah, there's just, oh, I have cards from people who, thank you, people who sent me things and sent me cards. I do keep those. This is all the unboxing that I still need to film. <laughs> it's insane. This wall is going to stay the same, but uh, there's some shelves over here with my favorite things on them. This was given to me by my friend Jojo. All great changes are preceded by chaos, which is one of my favorite quotes. And she actually, I believe she made this and I love it. It means a lot to me. I've known her so many years. She actually went to high school with my best friend, Jamie. So she's been in our lives a long time, but yeah, there's my little, one of my little goth things. That's uh, Velocity, who was my first Italian Greyhound ever. And this is the first time I saw her. And there's Miss Tippy Toes, and that's felt replication of Tippy. And then Velocity's ornament up at the top right. This side of my office is very messy right now, but there's my Mac. Those are all my race medals from running. And oh, Boston sticker. Awesome Wicked Lifestyle. Seeing that up there. And lots of stuff. It's just kind of, there's my purple dinosaur. You, you'll see things in here and you'll be like, if you've watched all my videos, you'll recognize them. Yeah, comment below if you recognize the purple dinosaur or the little orange bird. And there are the sea monkeys. The sea monkeys are living right here on my desk. You see them moving around. Look at the top above that white part. See them all swimming? They are going cuckoo. Oh my God, they're so big. I can't believe I have sea monkeys. What the hell? Hey, follow me on Instagram. So yeah, this is a little bit of a mess. I just got new camera batteries, charge those. And my cameras are kind of in pieces right now. And this is my closet over here. There's a whole bunch of lip stuff. And these are my PR collections that I've bought, purchased. And there's some up there as well but there's a whole bunch of them there that's the, the giant thing on the right is the beetlejuice box by the way that big huge box on the right so lots of fun things up there so this is where i sit and film and this is my i'm using a coffee table because i i said before like start with what you have well i had this extra love seat we weren't using anymore and i had this coffee table and i did not have a table mm-hmm
and this is not comfortable. I have to kind of hunch over and there's my camera and my ring light and it's just awkward. So I did get a regular desk that I can sit at. Oh, this is what I know everybody wants to see. Oh, I didn't move everything out of the bottom of here yet. I'm sorry if anybody's getting motion sick with me running around. Here are all the, this is my project pan basket. These are all things I'm trying to use up. And yes, there's a lot. And yes, I'm using them. <laughs> These are all my loose pigments are over here. This is actually pretty cool. Loose pigments and on the top, these are all loose pigments. And I love these. This is my absolute favorite color of all my loose pigments so far. Vegan and cruelty-free lip safe. This is the Apocalyptic Beauty. It's called Crazed Fairies. This is the one that I made my favorite lip gloss out of. This is such a great color. This is awesome. So some Folklore that is actually pressed. There's a whole bunch of all my ColourPop singles are down there. My... Rebel Rouge Labs in Beeper that I am obsessed with that she doesn't make anymore. Killing me. Uh, some really old KKW. Look at this. She doesn't even make these anymore. I think these, this is when her stuff was actually kind of cool <laughs> before it got really painfully, sinfully boring. These loose highlighters that she did. Can you see the rose gold on the left and the gold shimmer in there? And then this pink is like rosy gold too. These were so good. And then I don't know what happened. She just blah. I think she just doesn't, isn't as invested in it. And it shows. That's just my opinion, allegedly. So yeah, these are almost all loose pigments other than this folklore that snuck on top for some reason. So I can mix my own shades. I can mix these with mixing mediums. I can make blushes, eyeshadows, lip glosses. I am working on doing all that. It's fun. And I don't know how or why all my lash glues are here, but there they are. So yeah, I have to pack all this up in those boxes. And this is the other thing I know everybody wants to see. I actually got this rack at Home Goods, and it's supposed to be for plants. <laughs> I decided I was going to put all my eyeshadows in it, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Now, here's why it's a bad thing. You can tell everything's just piled. It's stacking on top of stacking on top of stacking now. Um, my favorites tend to be in the top. So Urban Myth, Ace Bute, uh, lots of Ace Bute, the Butte Bean. It's for freaking bats and a whole bunch of Give Me Glow and things back there. This is, there's my Midas's, all my Laura Lees are in here, Ciate, Natasha Denona, Huda. Those, uh, there's the, all the Laura Lees right there, the Nudie 2 and Nudie Patootie. What else? My Norvina palettes back there. There's some My Heart Revolution. And then there's just, there's so much stuff. It's my little OMFGs right here. And there's my little elf minis. It's a lot of palettes. I wasn't exaggerating when I said I'm going to be organizing probably like 200 palettes because that's not even all of the palettes that are over here. There's, this is all my spoiled lip palettes right there. There are, oh my God. Oh. There's all my Lime Crimes. Those are Hip Dots. This is all, there's Hip Dot here. This is all Hip Dot. Where did the, oh, over there is all my Nomad. I have every Nomad palette. There is Dominique, the Annette Serenity. And then there's all of these. These are my custom palettes that I have to work on putting my singles together. Oh, this is all my colored contact lenses. I have a lot. And my menagerie collection is buried somewhere. Anyway, so yeah, this, this is all getting packed up and reorganized in these. Stay tuned. I'm going to film this in pieces and then edit it all together. And we will probably do a before and after of this, so stay tuned for that. Come back and see what happens with this room. Oh lordy, part two. Look what just happened last night. I was up until about two in the morning. Um, by the way, if you hear a voice, Ms. Angelica Nathies, she is on my TV. I'm listening to her video from today. So <laughs> if you hear another voice, let me close my door to my studio though. I know we want to listen to Angie, but this is where my big table was, my laptop, everything was here. That is now out of here. Look at all this stuff I have to review and unbox. Oh my God. This is the first box of these are things that are gifts for people, things I'm mailing out 
for future giveaways and things. I have kind of a box that has packing crap in it. So I have two big totes here and I'm going to be going through all these maybe tonight. We'll see. And I'm probably going to be reorganizing this and my wigs and what else is down here? Oh, more wigs. Wigs, more. I have more wigs than a drag queen. And there's all my nails and all my gloves. My nails I never wear. Like, look at my videos. I never wear these nails. And look how many I have. This is stupid. Okay, everybody comment and tell me to wear my damn nails because I never do it. And those are all my little gloves. I love the little half gloves. I'm obsessed with them. I have a whole collection. This is drugstore makeup I need to review. Um, there's, We went over all this yesterday. So that's all the same stuff. Oh my God, look at all these. I have so many reviews to do, so much to do. I did get the table out of here yesterday, so that was a huge thing. That was a big thing. I had to take everything apart. Hold on, I'll show you where everything is now. I'm in my bedroom. Here's my dog crates. Aren't they cute? I actually got these on Wayfair. If you have dogs and you want a dog crate that's like really cute and decorative, I got these on Wayfair. Aren't those adorable? And my dogs love them. They don't usually get crated, but I leave the doors open all the time. And they just go and sleep in them. They have tons of pillows in there, which I have to fix up and wash. Anyway, this was everything that was on my recording table, <laughs> if you can believe that. All of that and all of this. These are all my cords, cords and chargers and things. I have to get that better organized. This is my project pan box. And I totally forgot about this. This is a whole thing. Well, the ZCs are in here too. So I didn't totally forget about this. Some lashes that don't belong in here. This is a whole... Oh, this is the Woman Power palette from Ciate that I got last month. Some lip products. Uh, oh, this is a Sugar Pill Cosmetics order. These are all new lashes that I have to go through. My Kaleidos again, so I want to do more looks with that. Ooh, the Alien Cosmetics Fairy Frolic. I'm dying to do looks with this. Look at these colors. Ah, I don't want to reorganize my studio. I want to play with makeup, but it's going to be so much better. And I really, this makeup deserves a better studio, honestly. I have such great stuff that I can't wait. Um, so yeah, there's this whole basket. Brushes, 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 brushes. I've talked about my brush obsession. Now you can see it all in one place. Brushes, brushes, brushes. This is one of my favorite new ones. It's the Pride brush that came out last month from It Cosmetics, and it's like sparkly, oh, sparkly rainbow. Isn't it cute? I love the angled brushes like this. So this was a free with a certain amount of purchase kind of thing. It says show your pride. And you can actually buy this brush on Ulta, by the way. But I just got it because I bought some It Cosmetic stuff. So there's all that. There's all that that was in my studio. And I'm turning everything sideways. It's going to look really funny. Sorry, I should be this way. So that was in my studio. Now it's in my bedroom until I get the new... Thing worked out in there and things set up. My laptop is currently, oh, there's Lydia's bed. It's currently on my little corner desk here. <gasps> this is the package that I am sending out to Teresa who won my 300 sub giveaway. <gasps> Ooh, that's going out tomorrow. So yay, there's my channel. And this is, sorry for the plug in the way. This is the new stool that I got to sit on while I record. Excuse my slippers everywhere. And I'm not going to show you the desk yet because I want to get it set up. And then you can see the desk. That is the progress for now. But this was a big thing. I cleaned the floor and I got all this out. Now, the next thing I have to do is once I take this whole thing apart, I will pack everything. I have to go through all this. I'm going to pack things up. And we are going to have some fun doing some palette reorganization and maybe some decluttering. And if you have any good ideas of how to organize all my palettes, let me know. Alphabetically, by I'm thinking doing by color story. I think that would be kind of cool to have like all my reds, all my yellows, all my, like I'm trying to think of a way that I can do it where I can find things easily if I'm in the mood for a certain color story. I definitely keep brands together. I said all my uh, Nomad is there. All my hip dot is here. There is, uh, oh, this is a lot of glam light is here. That's a whole stack of glam light and spoiled lips. 
my Kaleidos is all up here. Kimchi is all there. Hank and Henry's all there. I have a lot, most of my Odin's Eye, but it doesn't all fit up here. But see, I have like Ace Butte there, and then I have Ace Butte over here. So it's kind of silly. My skulls are like, what is even wrong with you? Isn't this cool? I think I got this at like Home Goods at Halloween, and I'm obsessed with it. It's like one of my favorite things in my studio. And my handbook for the recently diseased, diseased. Yikes! So, yep, that's the progress. I'm going to be filling these suckers up, and then we're going to sit and try and organize some of these. I do want to take a flat lay of every single one of my palettes. I think what I'm going to do is go in my living room and lay them all out and stand on a ladder because I have so many palettes. Hi, dude. I know where'd everything go. Where'd everything go, buddy? Look at him looking. He's like, I can't go on the couch, and where are my beds? I know. They're not here. He's he's confused because there were, there were a bunch of dog beds here, and he's loves laying. I'm sorry. No, we're we're redoing the office. We're redoing the office. In case you're wondering, this weird looking creature is little dude, the dude. <laughs> oh, now you got Lydia going. Now she's going. And yes, there's a basket of dog toys in my studio. He is. Half Chinese crested. His mom was a Chinese crested, and his dad was a breed called a Miki. Hence the short, fat little body. And he is just a fatty, though. He's my piglet. Are you my piglet? He's ready for dinner. Okay, Lydia, out of the out of mommy's office slash studio. So that's the progress so far. Come back for more. I can't wait to do declutter and organizational videos for you if you're into that. I need to do it. I've just been. This past two weeks, these are all from the past two weeks. Stacked up, stacked up, stacked up. Crazy blue contacts um, that I want to wear very soon. This color is, look at this. I am dying over the colored contacts. These are a colorful eye. This is a different brand than I had before. So I'm going to try these. This is my two pages of notes on the Gua Sha Stone 101. I have to retype those all out and practice and review. I don't want to miss anything because I'm really fascinated by the history of it. So I want to share some of that. But yeah, this is just a, I got a whole bunch. I got some new BH that I want to review because Angelica Nyquist, I watched all her videos about BH. So I did get the Paris and the Puerto Rico palettes. And I want to compare and see if I have the same experience as her. Of course, Lush Life. There's my Baby Metal and my... and that. I have lots and lots of Kaleidos. I haven't even touched these yet. Because I don't want to... This is my collectible one. I'm not using this. I swear I don't want to use this. All of my Menagerie is in one of these extra boxes. They end up sending me two boxes. So all my Menagerie is in one of these... And all my Kaleidos are in another one. I do have, I think, almost the entire collection of all the Kaleidos in there. There's a lot. I have two Teddy Fresh orders, and I have several more orders from Teddy Fresh coming because I am redoing my wardrobe. So this little wall, yep, I love it, but it's going to be changing a little bit. I do like it, though. It's got all my favorite little things. The You don't see it in my video all the time, but I have a sign that says, Do something creative every day. And that's like really important to me. I think everyone should do that. Words to live by. Come back for more. See you soon. Say bye, Lydia. Bye, Lydia.